Okay, so we're back with a little more modeling. Um, let's take a look then at what we got going. So I was talking about maybe the chest feels a little too broad. Um, it's okay to swerve away from your designs. It looks like I was trying to make some breasts, but I don't know how much I want to do that for this character. I might just take, uh, let's go ahead and just go to our sculpting tools, All right? Select here, and let's make sure that when we're sculpting, here we are, double click on to get your window, and we're going to go ahead and work with the, um, let's see, we got fall off, stylus, stamp. We don't need display. Um, uh, these can be useful. We're not going to use those right now. Let's just go ahead and adjust the symmetry to the object on X. See, there we go. You can see the little dot showing me that I'm ready to do some extra sculpting. I'm going to go ahead and size that up some. And let's, oops, I am growing that now. Let's go ahead and grab move. some relax function always nice to help kind of ease some of the things look at this see these edges are a little too close down here um, I do like these down here that back needs some attention too we can also get these shoulder pieces here see do a grab function and pull them back and out. It's a little too extreme, so we'll ease that down. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. All right. Push this on here. And uh, what else we got here? Let's see how that's looking from the side again. Uh, It's okay, we're kind of doing a little variation from it now, just a little bit. Hmm. We could probably use another edge loop, maybe through here. What was that one? It's not terrible. And one maybe here. And let's see what we get now. Can I come in here? What's this one? Alright. So with that being the case, we should have enough room to come in here and kind of edge flow that, kind of relax it. And I do want this one to be kind of pushed in a little bit more. Oops, too much and this one out a little bit more we'll smooth that gentle smoothing action let's go ahead and back to the relax tool All right so it kind of pushes pieces in to a nice position i feel like this needs a little more
something you can also do that's nice is you go in here and um, under modeling go to just mesh display and we'll go ahead and soften edges it gives a nice kind of softening effect hoping that all these edge flows and kind of wrinkles and uh, pushes and points will help this model kind of bend right away. Let's get this tail. This tail has definitely got some issues. The backside's been neglected a bit. There's definitely some uh, adjustments we could make here. Uh oh. Did I remove... I did. Looks like I removed... Hmm, I'm not sure how. I think I hit a hotkey just now. And it looks like I got rid of the... There we go. Yeah. I wonder what that hotkey is. Hmm. I'll have to maybe look that up. Because that's a, that's a neat hotkey. Because to go from show to not show, this is a nicer way to look at like the flow. Like the shapes, as it were. Um, sorry, the shapes, but this is good for the flow of turning the, the wireframe back on. You can see the edge flow. And that's why I feel like there's some issues back here because this edge flow, this edge flow should just kind of curve and wrap around the model more naturally. Just kind of see and look at this. It's all pinched down here, which I guess technically a parasaur does have sort of that pinched tail area um, I'm gonna go ahead though but look at these these extreme V's do not need to be here so we're gonna go through here and just kind of relax those extreme V's right just nice and easy and again uh, you know I'm using the relax tool to relax them uh, smooth would have a different function if I hit smooth it's gonna do the same thing here but it also kind of flattens all of this you may or may not want it to do. Now let's get in here and kind of... Mm, not sure about that. I think... Yeah, we probably definitely want... Sort of this. flat top and so more of a kind of a v-shaped tail setup here and we'll get this see there's extreme v's down here relax those extreme v's no more extreme v's there we go. Now this tail needs to be able to bend, so you need to keep in mind that you do need the edge flow going across it, so I could probably use even a few more pieces. I'll come back and fix that up in a moment. Let's see how that's looking. Hey, make a save. Make a save. Let's finish off this tail real quick if we can. Um, we'll go ahead and select the edges. And let's go ahead and even those out a little. And let's do an extrude. See, this is what I was talking about in the previous video about the extrude function. Notice how it no longer has the ability to like X, Y, and Z. It's really just going to go one way out that's it you can't even click on it to go from world to object it's only going to be object mode maybe there is a way uh, to fix that but see um, there almost definitely has to be some way to fix that so let's let's go and see if we can find something to fix that real quick um, 
Well, actually, I do know the way to fix it. I do know the way to fix it. Uh, the way to fix it is to turn off symmetry over here. Right? And then we can do a function. So, control E. There you go. But, this is what I'm saying. Like, now you're just sort of constantly having to um, address... Uh, settings. You have to constantly address settings. Yeah, I, you know, it's uh, hmm, that looks maybe like it'll work. It's a little rough. All right, let's go ahead and rev up the tip of the tail here. Um, it is, it is what it is. So you just gotta kind of do it one way or another. Um, but for something like this, it is much more helpful to just be able to kind of come in here and just use the uh, symmetry tool on it. Hmm, let's see. Alright, so this is one of those points where you're like, well, I got an end. Uh, something that comes to an abrupt end. And, uh, you know, with fingers and feet, you're doing the feet and the hands separate. So it's not as much of a problem, but something like this where the tail tip's got to meet up and we're going to have some issues here. So let's go ahead and see about this is going to give me issues. Let's see what we can do though. Let's start with appending. go to my custom bar where I got all my all my tools I don't really use the custom bar as much as I used to I like it still but I've been trying to wean myself off of it on our symmetry tool. Alright, ready for some more of that. Here to here. Now, notice it didn't do it on the other side. So again, that symmetry tool does have does have some issues. It doesn't work on everything, and that's why generally I don't prefer modeling like this. Um, some programs are much better at it. ZBrush doesn't have this this particular issue. Um, all right, how many more edges do we have here? Uh, of course, the problem here is if I don't use the symmetry tool now constantly, right, then uh, I'm going to have the issue of inconsistent and the UVs and nothing's going to match up. So we'd have to cut it in half and then clean it and even it and then mirror it anyway. So, you know, you kind of misstep here and then you end up having to do that whole process anyhow um, hmm let's go ahead I would like to see what happens if I use a little bit of relax function here oh boy it says it's brushed down a bit smooth function maybe hmm Let's see if we can't keep appending to seal this up. Ah, of course. Pen won't work. Oh, is it? See, it's like it pretends that it works, but it doesn't. So who knows? It might even be making extra geometry that I can't see as it does something strange. 
Let's double check. Looks like it's okay. All right. So far, so good. And what do we got here? Like we've got one, two more. Ah, let's let's go ahead and wrap those around then. Probably could have done that earlier. There's one. There's two. And we'll go ahead and select our vertices. Oh, uh, let's see if this will work. I'm not sure. I think it does work for this object mode now. So now we're selecting here and here here and we'll go ahead and um, use the merge vertices mm -hmm. Let's see it doesn't completely work and that's one of the problems Alright, so that is a lot of work to make that happen, right? But this should be all sealed up now. And, uh... Let's save. One more time. And now I need to add the extra edge loops on the tail itself so that it has the proper turns. Here. 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 This one. Um, there is an easy way to do this, by the way. It is called selecting the edge loops. I'm just being stubborn. Let's see how this looks. Uh huh, uh huh. That's kind of garbage until we use, we use the relax tool, right? It's not it's not the best. Let's go ahead and sculpt that. Relax that. Size that on up. Smooth it. Smooth will be faster. This is the occasion for a smooth. Ooh. Especially down there, you can see. Is it. Hang on. Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Right? There you go. And uh, let's do a little bit of. Hmm.
so even though this tale seems simple, there's kind of a lot of complexity involved in it. It's not as simple as it first seems. Tales do have a lot of muscles and all sorts of tendons and stuff in them. So you want to make sure that you get kind of the right look, right? Hmm. Uh, honestly, it feels a little short on this character. Feels a little short. I think I will let that ride for the moment, though. Could be longer. All right, so save and uh, it would seem that we are done with the tail for now. Uh, it's worth it to maybe go back in and do another mesh display smooth, just soften edge. Might revisit the tail, but for now I'm going to call it okay. Not sure how I feel about some of the lumps in there. But I think it's safe to say we can move on to um, getting kind of the ankles and the arms finished off. So that is sort of the modeling process. Ooh, well, hold on. Before I go, let's add a few more edge loops in here. Right, just for good measure. Where are these ones going? Down around the tail? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where's that end up? Down around. Maybe it's worth it. It might be worth it to put one in here. Notice it does not make a second one, which is somewhat obnoxious. Uh, I think you have to actually add a um, extra setting. Not, not necessarily going to go for it. I think I'll leave it as is for now. So there you go. Uh, tail finished up about 20 minutes time. Some adjustments. I uh, probably could use some more relaxing on some things, but the model's coming along pretty quickly, uh, so there you go.